Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. Today is going to be an exciting one, but isn't everyone an exciting one? <laughs> We're starting off with our next project for the day today. What might that be? Now let's head on over to Tucker's stall and find out. Tucker has what we call the Tajma stall, which is technically two horse stalls in one. This was where our feed room used to be. If you guys remember, and for all the veterans of the channel, you'll remember this is where all the feed bins were. And now, of course, the feed room has certainly been upgraded. So we'd like to make this another stall that's open for another horse to come and arrive at our stable, which means that today I'm gonna to be working on putting in the wall that's gonna separate these two stalls. It'll be just me today, so we'll see how far we get. And I've never built a wall similar to the railing, but I kind of understand it in my head and I have an idea for what I'm doing. I can always look at all the other walls inside the stable for inspiration. So what we're gonna be doing is these bars right here were put in as a way for the horses to see each other, create a feeling of openness. But what's nice about them is their horses cannot get their heads through. They can't kick, bite each other. So it keeps them safe. Well, this bar right here is actually open to our utility room. So not really a great view. And it's mostly used for storage by the client here. So we're gonna be taking these bars out and filling this in as a solid wall and taking those bars and repurposing them for over between Tucker stall and the new stall. Interestingly enough, this is also the oldest stall door in the entire horse stable right here. Does it do its purpose? Yeah, 100% it serves its purpose. Will it still be here when we put a client inside this stall? That answer I do not know. This is basically pressed wood back when they had the doors made. Now we make them ourselves. I think they look a lot better too. Here's Dox's old stall, also available. So yeah, if you read that right, that means that we have 25 stalls in this horse stable. 24 are currently open. Once that wall is put up, then we'll have 25. But before we do all that, I need to get started measuring out and feeding. So let's get the horses in the barn. Let's take a look here and see what all the horses are up to this morning. Looks like we woke up Roni and William and they're getting ready to come on in the barn as well as, oh yeah, the whole herd's right over here. Looking down at the round bale feeder in the big field, we see Declan, Samson, and one more horse, but I can't make out who that is that's eating. Good morning, William. We just woke up Rocky and Buster. Leia's doing the usual, right, Scoots? You rolling? You rolling? Yeah. Oh, wow, you guys are in different pastures. Look at this. Oh, you ready for some food? How's Buster today? How's Rocky today? Good to see you guys. Aw. Yeah. Hey, Rocky. Hey, Buster. Yeah. Ooh, we're giving Rocky some attention. Don't tell Buster. Ooh. Oh, they feel good. Yeah, they feel good. Come on, guys. Let's give you some food. With me feeding them a lot more, they're warming up to me a lot more. So that's nice. You guys see what I did there? <laughs> Also, it doesn't look like they spent too much time eating hay today, or last night. They probably were out eating grass. We'll open up their window. And they're set. I opened up their window, and look at this. They switch sides. You just can't win. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to hop on in the barn? I know you are. Hey, Roni. Hey, William. Champ. Hey, Jack. Rebel. George. There's the whole herd. And looking at the horses coming in, it looks like the other horse was Poe. So it was Declan, Samson, and Poe. Interesting. Let's see how they all did. Oh, good stuff. There you go, fire. Right on in you go. Right before Swade, look at that. Hey, Danny. Hey, Obi. Good morning, buddy. Hey, Skywalker. Duke, I got you there. Whew. Hey, Poncho. Looks like Gavin's trotting up the hill. Slight lope, I like it. Good to see you, Gavin. Hey, Sriracha, good morning. Morning, Tucker. Archer's down there yelling. <laughs> morning, Weather. Good to see you, buddy. Casino, Poe, good to see you guys. Look how good Casino's doing. Yeah. 
They really are beautiful while they're out there just enjoying their lives, aren't they? So serene. Well, as you guys can tell, all of the horses are turned out. Daily care is cared for. Feeding went well. Being that I didn't have the camera with me, we managed to actually get things accomplished an hour earlier than usual. And we're gonna try to capitalize on the time savings. So first things first, we have our dividing line, which is this post. This is going to be the wall that goes across the two. I'm gonna need to move these two mats, dig two holes to put two new posts in. We need to measure our width for the bars to make sure that the width is correct because that's where the posts will go. And I need to get all of the wood and bring that down from the lumber pile up top. We have our posts. And we will need to move this one. That certainly looks like nice soft ground. Let's see how the shovel does when it hits it. I'm actually kind of surprised. <laughs> Whoa! What? Say what? We don't have soil like this in Pennsylvania. I am taken aback. Dig this out. Now these posts will be reinforced on both the top and the bottom, so we won't be concreting this. All right, I think I'll dig a little bit down, but before we go any further, I need to make sure my wall is straight. So I need string. Ooh, come here, big guy. This rock will mark our 125 inches. I need to go get a uh, two by four because we're gonna fasten that. Yeah, you know, this board's in the way, sadly. Oh, there we go, the top piece off. No worries, we'll put it back right where we found it. Now remember, we need to measure twice before we put our, our board on. Make our straight line. Well, would you look at that? We got a mark right on the wall where 125 inches is. That right there. Make sure we're perfectly level. Time to start drilling. Boy, am I glad that we got all this, these tools for this. This has been coming in handy. Okay, well, you ain't getting that off the wall. Now we can put our string up. And conveniently, there's a little hole back here that I can use to put our string up. There we go. So long as we did this right, we'll be right on the edge of where we need to put our post. So we got a little bit of digging to do, but things are looking good. What are the odds we'll get that level without touching the string? Oh, I gotta go right more. This is why the string's important, because you'll think it's level, and then when you make it level, you're pushing on the string, which tells you you're not level. Okay? That's good that way. That's good that way. Okay, now we can start filling the hole in. You can see I'm not holding it anymore, the ground is. Pack the dirt. Looks good to me, guys. As you can see, we are right with the string, but we're not touching the string. So we are good. Now we'll measure six feet, because that's gonna be the width of our bars, and we'll dig another hole. And I have a feeling it's gonna be right where this mat is. Oh. Ha! Yep. what I tell ya? I think we'll just fold this mat over. Let's get digging. Now this hole is more like what I expected. Chiseling away to get down an inch by inch. Okay, well that part looks good. Oh, 
Boom. Sweet. Ah, six feet on the nose. So now that we have our three two by fours on, which is our superstructure before the plywood goes on, I wanna connect our posts to our existing wall. So that's what we're gonna work on next. And then we'll be ready to put the plywood on. And then we'll be in a pretty good shape for the bars, which is what's right after the plywood. So we're trucking right along guys, we're doing well. Sorry guys, I'm getting a little excited here, but we've got our support boards on this side and this side complete, as well as our frame for the bottom complete. And we have our board here, which is what the bars are actually gonna be mounted to, right here. I actually even measured and cut our piece of plywood. It's gonna slide right in there. Now we're gonna put it on and see how it looks. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That, that, that actually worked out better than I thought. Woohoo! Well, look at this. Alrighty, guys. This is as far as I'm getting today. It is nearly 5 p.m. and I still need to feed horses for the afternoon. So this is what we got. I think it actually looks pretty nice. We got this side done on both sides. There you go. So that's complete. I still have to do this piece of plywood here. And then uh, I have to put a frame board over the top. And then that's where the bars are gonna go that frame out these stalls. And you can see how it goes. You know, I remember standing here and this was the feed room and now we're back to it being stalls. The irony of the whole situation is that these were stalls before we put a feed room in it. At the time, we never would have anticipated that we would not be using small square bales. And that big change allowed us to move the feed room out, allowing these to be stalls giving Tucker a stall. You'll remember Tucker didn't have a stall for a very long time. And move the feed room over here. And man, what a facelift to this stable this has become. And so the horses are all here waiting and wondering, when am I gonna be letting them in? So let's get these guys in the stalls and fed. Well, all the horses are in. I wanted to show you guys something. He's not even batting an eye at it. How are you, Tucker? He's more focused on enjoying that salt lick. Right, buddy? He looked at this for, for about a second and he was like, well, that's new. And then right over to the grain. So, <laughs> oh, that's funny. I thought you guys would appreciate that. <sighs> well, guys, I can't think of a better way to end the video and my day. Seeing all those horses out there grazing. We got a lot done today, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure that you're subscribed. It helps the channel immensely. And leave down in the comments below, what's your favorite evening summer activity? I definitely know a lot of people that state they could do this for hours. Uh, for me, it's gonna be this or sitting on a swing with a nice glass of either tea uh, or water and just with a good group of people enjoying some good association. That's. That's one of my favorite summertime activities. Let me know yours. I'm looking forward to hearing your answers. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.